Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Looky here. Oh, buddy. Looky here. That's a big takedown. Big takedown, y'all. Oh, man. We starting out with a big fish right here. Fish number one. I didn't film an intro when I got out here, y'all, because the sun wasn't up. It was still too dark to be filming, but it's almost daylight now. Sun's burning through the fog a little bit, and boy, we off to a good start. This fish just buried a, a, a big skipjack head. I'm 62 feet right now, kind of in a hole on the Tennessee River, and I'm spot locked sitting here with baits raised up just off the bottom. And man, this fish just buried this rod. Oh man, what a takedown for a small fish. Holy cow, I thought I had a <laughs> I thought I had a whopper on, man. Wow. This fish ate his Wheaties this morning. <laughs> man. All right, then. If that's how it's going to be today, boy, we do hook up with a big one. It's we're going. It's going to be on. Well, there he is, y'all. Kind of, uh, kind of a letdown <laughs> after seeing the takedown. Let's let him go. He at least give us our our skipjack head back. I'll show you here on the graph. I'm, you know, 62 feet, kind of at the top edge of this hole, and I just made a run down river here um, thought I'd set up here at first light one of them rare days I woke up before my alarm I said you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and get on out there then so uh, like I said it was too dark to film an intro when I got out here but I've had lines in now probably 20 minutes or so somewhere thereabouts and uh, offering these fish a smorgasbord of baits today I got two rods baited with skipjack a head and a chunk i've got a white bass head on and i've got a live bluegill on so we've got live and cut bait offerings got plenty of bait today so as many fish as wants to play I'll, i welcome the challenge so anyway my plan is i'm gonna sit here on this hole for a little while and um you know at least until the sun gets up see what happens see if there's any activity here if we're getting bit great i'm content with staying here my whole trip if catching fish but if not i'm going to start trolling and making my way back up river there's no current out here today they're not running any flow so i'll just start fishing my way back toward the car just working this main channel edge but we'll see what happens here uh man dang nice takedown for that small fish i thought i had me a whopper man and he felt good when i first picked up too i mean he felt like a strong fish but uh he just he's full of wee wee and vinegar this morning but uh anyway ooh, look right here i'm flapping my gums long enough check that out that's another nice mark right there coming in toward my bait so uh we'll see what happens here y'all it looks like there's some fish down in this hole let's fix our skipjack head back on here that fish done some damage there to the mouth of it but the meat is still in pretty good shape so i've got to add on a carolina rig i've got a, a stinger fly there that's a goldfish color coming off of it a few inches below my cut bait sinker there of course above the swivel and we'll just drop that down after i get my line untangled around there lord almighty we'll get it going here directly folks but i'm gonna drop that down let my sinker hit bottom i'll raise it up a couple feet so here at 62 feet my baits are going to be 59 60 feet deep as them fish swim along the bottom these baits are going to be right there in their face. All right, we got one's back rod now. Oh, he's going to pull now. He's going to pull. Let's get him up here. This one here ate a chunk of skipjack. Still ain't had no action there on that white bass at all. Something got after my bluegill. Didn't get him. Something knocked my skipjack head off. I had to replace it a little while ago. Well, there's definitely some action here. There's some fish. This one here didn't start out feeling very good, but now he's gotten a little little heavier. I wonder if he ain't got himself foul hooks. What I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he didn't come up on that bait and roll and roll right into that stinger, by gosh. <laughs> stinger may strike force again right here. No, no, he don't either. That's just a better quality fish. He just bit funny. That's fun sizer right there. Well, he didn't act like it though when he first bit, did he? 
he did not he did not act like a fish that size that's that's pretty good quality there we go y'all nice fat cat right there fun sizer i thought i had a dink the way with the rod was kind of dancing around tapping like that and then it took off and i was like well he's just rolled into that stinger hook and got hooked in the tail you know they always feel bigger when they're snagged nope had it in the mouth just uh <laughs> just bit funny i don't know i'm happy with it. that's a nice fun sizer right there we off to a good start today y'all that's two fish out of this hole i'm just gonna stay parked here until they quit biting let's let this one go I'll see you buddy there he goes hey go there goes my chunk again there goes my chunk Oh, he's pulling too, man. That's pulling right there. That feels, you know, the, far, the last one to bit, bit like a dink, and then got bigger. This one started out bigger, so hopefully it's another good quality fish. I fear we're going to get wet here in a minute, y'all. I got my umbrella with me, but I can hear thunder off in the distance and radar. When you do the little forward cast thing, it looks like it's going to break up before it gets to us, but I can... I can hear that dang thunder. But I'm so far away from the car, we just gonna have to ride it out if it if it hits. <laughs> so I ain't gonna be able to make it back anyway. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, well that's he's he ain't as big as that last one. Larger larger dink right there. He fought about as good as that last one though. Man, I tell you these fish are fighting hard today. They are doing that. Get my glove here, y'all. This was sent to me by one of my channel members, Lynn Loy. She sent me a, a glove and a bunch of other stuff too. And we're gonna put this thing to use today. This fish says he likes he likes the taste of this glove better better in my hand. Hold yourself out there. Well, he ain't even. I don't even know now that I got in my hands. He's a larger dink, just a dink. A dink with a bad attitude. <laughs> he fought hard though, man, for his size. I, I thought I had another one comparable to that last one that we got, but that's three fish anyway. Well, let's send that bait down. That's another chunk right there. And the last two fish have wanted a chunk, so we'll offer a variety. Everything, the both pieces of skipjack, the head and the chunk, have caught us fish now. The live bluegill at least got messed with. The white bass is the only one that ain't even had a tap on it yet, so we may end up switching it out for something else here shortly. There's several fish right there under me as the thunder booms over there. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but I've got several marks. Here comes another one up there. It's kind of been coming up periodically taking a look at my bait so there's some activity here where i'm at i'm gonna i'm gonna ride it out i hope the storm goes around i don't want to get drenched out here today but uh i'm way too far away from the car to make a run for it at this point so we're just gonna ride it out worst case scenario i'll go hit up one of these docks over here and uh take shelter if need be but i'm at least encouraged with the bites i'm getting and the fact that i'm seeing so much here on the grass i think i'm just gonna ride it out here a while and um and uh, see if some of these fish eventually take the bait they come up take a look circle around swim off but we're getting some action nonetheless something's after my head bait right there y'all let me just crank down on him here let's reel us another one in you can maybe see right there man there's all kinds of fish down there by my baits most of them have just kind of been i don't know if they're cats or not but they've just kind of been coming in they'll come up you'll see them sniff at your baits look around swim off there's quite a few of them down there right now and you can see they're kind of stacked up and this rod just went down so maybe some of them are cats if it looks like it's darker out here than before it is y'all so far i've been fortunate that these storms have been all around me but not on top of me i ain't i ain't got wet yet so i ain't been particularly lucky on big fish just yet but i've been lucky with mother nature look right here i'm gonna pull that out of his mouth but he's giving us that head back i guess i should have let him have it them dinks have chewed it up down there let's hold you out there in front of the camera see if we can 
see if we can get you on extra instagram follower there or two the fish might be on a tiktok who knows get out of here boy he's gone he's ready to go buddy he got what he wanted got his attention and got the heck out yeah y'all i've been so far you can hear it thundering over there you can hear it thundering over here but so far where i'm sitting has been dry so i don't want to jinx it but i'm thankful for it i'm just gonna go ahead and cut another skipjack up them dinks i should have given that head to that other fish there because them dinks have been pecking and chewing so i'm gonna go ahead and switch out my my chunk while i'm at it too because i would imagine it probably looks just as bad the one bait that should be still in good shape is that one right there though that head uh, white bass head buddy they ain't wanted nothing to do with it today i don't know it's got the plague on it or something but i'm gonna leave it down there for now i'm gonna keep it going i may switch it out for a chunk possibly but i at least want to have a one piece of white bass on there just a variety sake since we got these other two with the skipjack and then we got the live bait so we'll get this head back down we'll switch that other one out with the chunk and we'll be back in business y'all we got something on this back rod that skipjack chunk that i paid that i switched out it's already paying off dividends right here let's go ahead and reel in another one why don't we getting some action right here only had one of decent size so far but there's definitely fish here uh-oh uh-oh let's sit him back let's sit him back so that's a small one there something's got my bluegill back here something's got it oh man something was swimming with him my line was going back that way but he ain't got him no more Boy, let's take a look at this bluegill. <laughs> Something had him. His tail's marked up, his side right there. I'd say he's lucky to get away, but from the looks of him right there, he don't look very lucky, does he? <laughs> well, let me set him back here. We'll land this small one over here and we'll get a get a new live bluegill and put on and see what happens. Oh man, this one, I don't know if he was lassoed from the start or he got lassoed while I was fooling with the bluegill but he's probably going to go crazy on us here once we get him undone oh this fish has got a hook in the mouth and a stinger in the tail there we go that fish had a bad day y'all he got two hooks in him a little old thing a little old bait stealer and he did steal my bait too well, let's put us another chunk of skipjack on this one and get our next live bluegill on. There goes our chunk down. Let's grab us another bluegill out of here. I had saved a few on my recent ultralight trip. Kept them alive in my bucket here. And boy, this one's lively. Save that energy, fish. You might need it down there. You might have to try to swim from something. Something had that last one. He just didn't hook up. But he had definitely bit him and was swimming with him. We'll send that down there to the bottom. And if he swims around like he was up here, by gosh, he's going to get the attention of them fish down there. So y'all, I have caught a huge break with the weather. All those storms that were kind of around me, they have moved on. Never got wet one time. So big shout out to Mother Nature. But I'll tell you what I'm not catching a break with is the fish. All those marks that I was seeing there on my graph, they have moved on. It's been a while since I've caught one, been a while since I've had any kind of taps or anything at my baits. So I think I'm gonna get on the move. I'm gonna just start trolling my way back up this ledge toward the car. Just kind of keep my speed in that 0.3 to 0.5 mile an hour range and just see if we can't run into some between here and there. Well, I think we might have one hooked up right here. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got it now. He was dancing with it, but he's got it this time. That's on the skipjack head again. Let's just go ahead and set here a second. I just got on the move. I'm just going to work my way back up this ledge. Dropped off here to 64 feet. And this one took the head down. It's pretty fresh. I 
switched my white bass head out. It ain't been touched all morning. I switched it out with a white bass chunk. I still got the, the head and the, uh, oh, this one didn't eat the head either. He got the fly. This one, this one got him a stinger fly down there. Looks like he got it in the mouth too. Well, I thought he got it in the mouth. It looks like he got it in the side of the head. You know the rule, fish. You ain't coming in the kayak when you get foul hooked like that. Get out of here. Old fish trying to skirt the rules. That's how they are. You give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Let's get all this situated here. Man, that thing has slimed up my, my line all the way up my leader there. Lord, things are nasty today, ain't they? Fortunately, well, that bait has been chewed on a little bit, ain't it? We'll go ahead and send it back down. There's still plenty enough meat on it there. It ought to, ought to attract something for us. I'll send it back down. We're going to get back on the move, y'all. Start trolling back toward the car. Now that that sun has popped out through the clouds, I'm going to tell you, buddy, it's going to get hot quick. <laughs> that rain that was all around me, you could feel it. You know, when the wind, uh, the wind ain't blowing bad out here today, but when a little bit of a breeze would hit you, you could just feel it. You can tell when it's raining around you, you know, it was a little bit cooler. But boy, now that it's gone, it's getting hot. And that rain that was in the area just made it even more muggy and humid than it already was. Hey, we got this one on, finally. Been a long time, y'all, and that one's on the white bass. I have made a run up river y'all i was trolling along that ledge but there was another catfish boat out there that i come up on in front of me they were doing some trolling too and so i said you know what i ain't doing no good i'm just gonna make a run and come up here and work a different section of this ledge and so i just got baits in up here switched everything out and dropped down i'm 65 feet here where i'm at and I finally got a piece of white bass to get eat. That's another blue here, another small blue. Kind of been the theme of the day with the exception of that one. It was a fun sizer, but we are getting some bites today. Well, he just flung the white bass off too. But for whatever reason, down there where I was at, uh, the bite just kind of died on me. I don't know where them fish went. But they moved on, and so I decided to move on too. Boy, this in here ain't going to be moving on if I can't get that hook out. He don't want to open his mouth for nothing. Boy, this thing right here, you talk about a chore to get him undone. Get out of here, you old fish. Boy, he didn't want to open his mouth for nothing. Thankfully, when he threw the bait off, he threw it here in the kayak, so we're going to put it back on. But I had switched out everything, y'all, and my hands dried off here. I had to handle that one. But anyway, I, I switched everything out. I got, uh, still got a live bluegill on this back rod here. Had the white bass on that. I put a bluegill head on my front left rod. I'm out of skipjack heads at this point. So I put a bluegill head there and I still had a, a fresh piece of a, a skipjack chunk that I was able to put on. Something was hitting that bluegill head, but anyway. I'm gonna work this stretch of this ledge down through here. It's gonna vary, I'm 62 feet here and it's gonna get shallower as I go down through here, but uh, we'll drift it. The wind's blowing downstream, moving me like 0.3, so perfect speed for drifting. So we'll try it and see if we don't change our fortune out here. I think something's got my chunk back here. Oh, he does, yeah. We got us another one here, y'all been a bite here a bite there kind of day no doubles no triples but you know what over the course of the morning here grinding it out and getting several fish whenever i leave here i'm gonna fish another 30 minutes to an hour probably i don't know how many fish i've got but that one here one there bite it adds up over the course of time this one yeah he ate the hook or the bait i mean thought he might have had that fly for a minute 
He threw the bait off too. Nice job, kitty. That was our last piece of skipjack. He about put that stinger in me. Did you see that fish? Get on up in here before you put that fly in me. You better act like somebody now. I ain't trying to get no hook in me today. Them hooks are for fish, not people. You ought to go back down there and think about how you've acted today. Parents going to be embarrassed how he's done. Well, I guess... I think I'll put a piece of bluegill on here. I'm gonna turn the camera on. This rod got hit a little while ago and I'll be doggone if he ain't on there. I went to check my bait. This dang thing is sitting down there with it, not even moving. I don't know if he got my bait or the fly. This one I put the bluegill head on. We'll see when we get him up here. He. He ain't, I'm pulling up dead weight. He ain't even fighting. I wonder if he ain't got all this lassoed in that line. No, he's got the hook in the mouth. Oh, I got two of them on. That's why it felt funny. Look at that. I got one with the hook and one on the fly. And I didn't even know I had a bite. <laughs> How is that possible? I'll be doggone. Two at a time, buddy. <laughs> Come on in here, old kitties. Lord Almighty. Let's get the little one here first, if we can, before Big Brother flops around and puts one of these hooks out of them and into me. Okay. Now, there's the one on the fly. Little old thing. Now, let's get this, and he'd ate the bluegill head. That's something, ain't it? I, that rod got hit. He don't want to open his mouth for nothing. That rod got hit, and it was just sitting there. I thought something had come up and took a, a bite. And these bluegill aren't the most durable bait, so I thought, I'm gonna just check it and make sure I still got bait on there. And when I picked up, it felt like I was just reeling in dead weight. I'll be doggone. Well, can't make this stuff up, folks. <laughs> Never know what's gonna happen out here on the water. Well, let's get us a let's get us another bluegill head and just stick on this one and get this slime off my line here. They was all slimed up on that thing, wasn't he? Tag on catfish double. <laughs> There's just another bluegill head. We'll drop it down there and see if a couple more fish want to play. <laughs> that was a. You know, it's always a possibility you got them flies on or if you got two baits on that you could have two on the same rod. I, I wish they'd both been about 50 pounders though. That'd been something, wouldn't it? Think you're reeling in a hundred pound fish and it's two fifties. <laughs> that bluegill head, man, just like that. It just went down. All right. Maybe they fancy in some bluegill. I, I kept some, I kept on my ultralight trip, I kept some in the bucket to use as live baits. And I also threw a few in my cooler. It was on a recent catfish trip. The, I never saw the fish, but the biggest fish of that trip, probably the biggest fish I've hooked all year, truth be told, bit a bluegill, a small bluegill head. It was the smallest bait I had out. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to put a few bluegill in the cooler just to have them. We'll mix them in periodically over my next couple catfish trips. And well, we got another one on it right here. Let's see, we get him up here. This one here ain't going to be too bad. It's going to be another fun sizer right here. And he actually didn't eat the bluegill. He ate the fly. Well, he's all marked up on the head too, but that one's, that one's recently off the nest right there we, we're wrapping up the spawn here a lot of these fish are marked up come over here fish yeah he got that oh, he's got that fly in the tongue buddy i'm gonna put the glove on for this and i ain't i ain't trying to wear wear no hook today lord days that didn't want to calm down. he still don't calm down Thankfully, he didn't throw my head off. That thing, I just dropped it down, so it still ought to be good and fresh. 
let's get our fly here he's he's got all the marks on his head now he's got him a tongue piercing there he goes look at this thing right here though man I've, I've apparently bloodied his tongue too by gosh get marks on him though ugly old catfish marks up his back get out of here there he goes Whew. i think right here y'all we're gonna check this rod yeah i'm sure as a world by gosh we got us another one i was waiting on this fish i was just getting ready to pack it up here shortly and go get me some lunch because it's hot as all get out and i'm hungry but i was just waiting for one more fish to step up and be the fun well he's got a friend over here he's got one after that rod i was waiting on one to to get the prestigious honor of being the final fish on the video but this one here may get he may get shown up by his friend if i reeled in a another twofer i don't know which one we'd call the last one of the video this in here is another small man it has been, oh he's ate the fly too boy the flies man they're after them dang flies today i'll tell you what folks these stinger flies have been a tremendous addition to my rigs well oh, he's hooked good there we go get a lot of extra bites on them things sometimes even two at a time like they're early that was something wasn't it? old batman and robin trying to attack the same bait there earlier but uh anyway y'all i'm gonna drift about another 100 200 yards here to the end of this point and now i'm taking to the house man since the, that weather moved out them storms and stuff all the clouds are gone that sun is just brutal this time of day around midday here and i'm hungry too so i'm about to get out of here hope you enjoyed it today man got several bites nothing real big got that one fun sizer but no monsters but just a ton of action that's one thing about summertime catfishing water's warm metabolism side you often come out and get a ton of bites just got to sift through a lot of smalls to, to get some bigs this time of year but anyway i'm about to get out of here we'll see you next time thanks for watching